Let's go ahead and look at another example. So here it says write a program that determines the type of units a user entered in. Options include uh, if they're distance type of units, if they are temperature units, mass units, or force units. Um, so once again, figure out how many options, how many choices. So number of options, how many paths do we have? My first path is if they are distance units. My second pass, uh, path is if they are temperature units. My third path is if they are mass. My fourth path is if they are force. And then fifth path is if they are unknown. So we need all five paths. Okay, then we need to figure out when we hit each path. There are going to be distance units if my unit equals meters, if it equals feet, if it equals kilometers, if it equals millimeters, if it equals yards. There's lots of options, etc. equals miles. For temperature, if it's equal to force, equal to Celsius, equal to Kelvin. For mass, equal to gram, equal to kilogram, equal uh, to pound, equal to stone. For force, equal to Newton, equal to pound force. There are other options as well, but we're not gonna be exhaustive. And then unknown, if it's not equal to any of those. Notice, notice every single time I'm doing equals. It's equals, 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 equals. I'm comparing units to all of these different things. Whenever we have that, we can go ahead and use a switch statement. So a switch statement looks like this. Keyword switch. Then I have a bunch of cases. And then I have an otherwise and an end. Okay, so let's go ahead and start filling all of this in. So first thing I need is my units. So units equals input units. So enter in some units from the user. Um, I want it to be text, so I'll use my S. So that means I'm gonna compare units to all my different cases. So that means I'm gonna switch on units. I'm gonna compare this variable to all my cases. So I have lots of different options. Uh, case one is if my units are distance. Case two will be if my units are temperature. Case three will be if my units are uh, mass. And then I have another case where units are force. And then my otherwise will be unknown units. So now I need to go ahead and fill in these cases. Uh, generally, we can have as many cases as we want. Um, we can also have multiple pieces per case. So if I just wanted to see if the units was equal to uh, meters, I could do case meters. That would give me distance. If I wanted to do another one, I might also be able to do case, um, what was that, case millimeters. And then I could do case kilometers. Uh, etc. If you have more than one case that maps to the same thing, we can just put all those cases in braces. So I could just replace all that and say, okay, if it compares to millimeter meters, to millimeters, to kilometers, to uh, feet, to yards, to miles, all of those map to the same option, the same case. So I can go ahead and just put those in braces. Generally, one case, you just don't need the bra the braces more than one case that maps to the same thing, we can have braces. So same thing for this one. I can say temperature is Fahrenheit, temperature is Kel Celsius, temperature is Kelvin. For the mass, uh, grams, kilograms. And notice my text goes in quotes. So we need the quotes, stone. And for force, it would be Newtons and LBF, so pound force. So there we go, I have my switch statement. Now I wanna go ahead and test all of my options. So I can test millimeters, okay? It's distance units. I can go ahead and test Kelvin, temperature units. I can go ahead and test pounds, mass units. Go ahead and test Newtons, force units. Go ahead and test something else, unknown units. 
and I would test all of my options. But that's what a switch statement looks like. I'm comparing units to all different options. So if we have the one variable that's compared with equality to lots of different options, lots of different cases, we can use a switch statement. If there's more than one case that maps to the same thing, we can put our cases in braces. Otherwise, they don't, they're not necessary and you can just put cases uh, independently. In general, we only use switch statements, once again, if we're comparing text and if we're comparing integers. It's really, really useful for text because then we don't need to use our string compare. Okay. So there's a switch statement. 